Hey, this is Tyler with an update on the HoloLens project. So here's our medical volume. Uh, this time it's a CTA. And one of the first improvements that we've made is depth buffering so that we can do this. When I put the column between myself and the volume, the column occludes my view of the volume like we would expect it would if it were a real object. And we do this by using the model of our environment that the HoloLens continually maps out. Uh, we can look at that model like this. Mesh display mode wire. So we can see that all these little triangles represent the model of the room that the HoloLens creates. And it includes this column. And if we make it solid, mesh display mode solid, we can see that all these solid little triangles cover the room and, like before, occlude our view of the volume. But looking at the environment this way is a little exhausting, so normally we just ignore it. Mesh display mode depth. And we just use it to give some realism to the hologram. Uh, so one of the next improvements that we made is the ability to interact with it with, with gestures. So I can click and drag the slice around. We also added windows, bone windows, lung windows, soft tissue windows. Okay. And um, we can also uh, interact with the volume in a little bit more of a dynamic way. So uh, we can change the angle of the slice based on our perspective of the volume. Floating slice. So if I move around, I can change the orientation of this slice. I can still scroll around within the study. Coronal view. So let's see if we can get an oblique slice through the aorta. lock slice. So there now our slice isn't moving with respect to us anymore and I, but I can still scroll through. And we also have several views included. Sagittal view, sagittal view, coronal view, coronal view, Axial view.